Varda Elintari Ielbareth Kilthaniel The Star Queen from Tolkien's Middle Earth Varda created the stars with the dews from Telperion, the silver tree of Valinor. When the elves first awoke, they beheld Varda's creation, the stars in the heavens. She knows all the regions of Middle-earth and rejoices in light. And the elves, they love her most and call her name in the hours of their deepest darkness, and she hears them from beyond the sea. Her name is Varda Elentari, by the High Elves, and to the Wood Elves she is Ielbereth Gilthaniel, the Star Queen, the Star Kindler. Join me and I'll show you how I created this Star Queen's makeup look for the 2016 NYX Face Awards. And if you like what you see, head over to NYXFaceAwards.com and cast your votes. There's more information in the description box. Let's get started. Alright, so if you're going to be a Star Queen, you want your makeup to last all day. So we're going to use the NYX Cosmetics Hydra Touch Primer and apply this all over our face. Just use your fingers to press it into the skin. I'm also going to prime my eyelids real quick. And now I'm taking some of the NYX HD Studio Foundation mixed with a little bit of the white mixer and I'm applying this with the flat foundation brush and I'm using crosshatched motions. The crosshatched motions is going to give us a very even finish that is light. If you need a little more coverage, go ahead and add a second thin layer to build up to more of a medium coverage. I'm now just gonna do a little bit of correcting under my eyes. So I'm taking a peachy color and just applying it right where I have some darkness. At this point, do any color correcting that you need to. And then I'm just applying a concealer that matches my skin tone right over the top. So go ahead and conceal where needed. I'm now taking the Bare My Soul eyeshadow and I'm taking this on the Pro Angled brush and just going through my brows. I want a very natural looking brow. So I'm just following my natural shape. Then brushing with a spoolie. I'm now going to take a bit of the blotting powder and I'm just going to set the concealer and corrector and take a little bit of powder down my T-zone. I'm applying this light colored highlight all over my eye and then I'm taking this contour color and I'm just applying that through basically the contour of my eye. You're just gonna put it in your crease and then blend outwards and then also take it along the lower lash line and definitely really buff that into your skin and don't be afraid to take that pretty far out. I'm now taking the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Cottage Cheese and I'm going to be applying this to the center of the eyelid both on the top and the bottom. So apply a bit of it, use your finger to just tap it out just to blend and then apply it on the lower lash line as well. And I'm also going to take it on the inner waterline. I'm now grabbing the Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean and the Pro Smudger Brush and I'm going to be creating a V on the outer corner of my eye. And then using the brush, I'm going to be buffing this along the lash line and then pulling it across my crease as well. You are then going to apply a little bit along your lower lash line and we're gonna be buffing that out and we're kind of creating a wing shape on the outer corner of our eye. Then you're going to add your black and then buff just like you did on the outer corner on the inner corner, pulling it along the orbital bone and into the crease. Now I'm going to take the Tin Prismatic Shadow, and I'm going to be patting this right over where we applied the Cottage Cheese Jumbo Pencil. You want to use patting motion so that you don't get any fallout. I'm then going to use my finger to apply it to the lower lash line because you want to bring that down just a tad more than the black goes. Now I'm going to be taking Smoke and Mirrors, and I'm going to be using the smudge brush just to tap that right where Tin meets Black Bean. So you're going to do that on both the upper eyelid as well as the lower. I'm now using the NYX Primal Color in Hot Black and I'm applying it first to basically where I want it to be the darkest, so the closest to my actual lash line. And then once I have a little less product on my brush, then I start to blend out towards the edges of where we applied Black Bean. That's gonna make it so your transitions are just nicer and it's way easier to blend if you apply the most product first on 
basically where you want it the darkest. Now I'm going to take the Pro All Over Shadow Brush with no product on it, and we're going to use this to blend. So you want it to be product free and just use little kind of swirling motions combined with windshield wiper motions to really blend that black out. You want to keep the black closest to your lash line really intense. So concentrate your blending just on the very edges so you get a nice diffused look without kind of muting the black that we already have down. Now taking the Pro Shading Brush and the Blue Jeans Eyeshadow, I'm going to be applying this along my lower lash line about halfway across my eye. So coming up to that point and then also bringing it down to just below my iris and blending lightly. I'm also going to be bringing it into the inner corner, just hugging right along where the black eyeshadow is and blending up along the orbital bone. So I'm now taking the Code Breaker blush and I'm applying that right along the very edge of where we applied the eyeshadow on our upper lid. So concentrating it more towards the inner part of my eye and blending it right along the black along the entire upper lid. I'm now grabbing the NYX Lid Lingerie in White Lace Romance and I'm concentrating that right along my lash line in the very center of my lid. And then I'm taking the Frostbite Prismatic Eyeshadow and patting that right on top. I'm doing my upper lid with the Lid Lingerie and then the eyeshadow immediately after and then doing my lower lash line in the same fashion because the Lid Lingeries dry really fast. And then I'm popping the same thing right on the inner corner. I'm taking the Jumbo Pencil in Black Bean again and I am just lining the inner and outer thirds of my lower waterline, keeping the center clean and then I'm taking it on a just small eyeliner brush and just adding a little bit of liner right along my lash line just to add a little more emphasis to my lashes. I'm then giving my lashes a good curl and adding a generous coat of mascara. You want to add your mascara to both the top and bottom lashes. Now you want to take a bit of the white liquid liner and we're just going to be applying this to the very center of our lower lashes just to keep this spotlight look really intense. You kind of want to make it look like your eyes are glowing like the stars. I'm now taking the Fatal Lashes by NYX as well and I'm going to pop those on. These lashes are really going to help open up our eyes especially since we have such a dramatic look going on. This is the finished eye look. You definitely just rock this but let's turn into a star queen. Next, I'm going to be taking the Wicked Lipstick in Envy and I'm using a dual fiber powder brush. I'm using a dual fiber because you can grab the lipstick on the very tips and then you can blend by pressing it a bit more into your skin. I chose the blue because I wanted to kind of be reminiscent of the night sky. You're just going to pop that under your cheekbones, much like you would contour, as well as along your jawline. And then on your forehead, you wanna concentrate it towards the outer edge of your forehead and do it a bit asymmetrically because we're going to be creating our star crown there later. I'm now taking the Strobe Genius palette and I'm taking this periwinkle color and I'm applying it down the center of my nose, along my cheekbones, my cupid's bow, and also in the center of my forehead, again, in preparations for the star crown. I wanted to use this color because Varda bakes the stars from the silver tree. So the stars, silvery, silver highlight. I felt it was fitting. It's the Lord of the Rings nerd in me. And now I'm going to be taking the Code Breaker blush and I'm taking the purple color as well as you can see here. And I'm applying that right on top of where we applied the Wicked lipstick. So it's going to be a little bit higher, but not quite where you would apply blush. We're still kind of in contour area here. And again, on your forehead, be rather asymmetrical. Think of how like galaxies look. Now I'm taking the Coraline blush and I just want to add a little more life into the face since we have these cooler colors, the purples and blues, silvers. We want to still have a bit of warmth and life. So I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and into my temples. And now I'm just applying a little more of the purple just where the purple was before, I just wanted a little bit more because we want to add depth to this look. I'm now taking the Blue Jeans eyeshadow to even add more depth. So we're going to be concentrating that in the very deepest hollows of our cheeks, blending towards our ears. Then you want to apply it asymmetrically to the forehead. Again, think of kind of galaxy nebula idea and take it down your neck as well. And then I'm just taking a little more of the Prismatic Eyeshadow and Frostbite just so that my highlight is a little more on that blue silver side. I'm now taking the Pure White Pencil and I'm just going to be using this to map out the star crown. So I'm starting with an upside down teardrop and then I'm making eight points that come off of the teardrop. So just map it out with a bit of white so you have your placement down. I'm then using the White Liquid Liner and I'm going to fill in the teardrop first 
And then I'm going to start basically creating the base of each of the points that are coming off. So just kind of making, you know, a teardrop kind of half circle shape just so we're getting the base. And then here's a trick. Take a piece of string and paint it white and then hold it like dental floss and then press it against your forehead. This is gonna make super straight lines. You will have to do cleanup, but it's a really easy way to do straight lines. You can just use any type of silicone primer on the Pro Flat Detail Brush and that will help clean up your lines. And now I'm just going to finish the little twinkles off my star. So I'm making the bases larger and then tapering to a thin point. So I like to work and make the base first and then flip my brush so it's at the thinnest point and use a very light hand to get those light little kind of just twinkles off the edges. Now you can see a little bit better. If you have a silicone primer, you can basically just kind of push the product around. I have no product on my brush except for the silicone primer and that just erases makeup super easy. Now I'm taking some of the White Lace Romance and I'm just applying that kind of in speckled motions creating the crown so coming off of the star and then going towards my forehead and then I'm taking the frostbite prismatic eyeshadow and doing the same thing so just over the star and then going kind of towards my forehead so now you're creating the band of the star crown you want to just create a lot of varied little dots. I like to use a nail dotter but you can use a brush for this as well have some medium some small and some larges it's a lot more true to what the light sky would look like if you're looking up there because those like photons have to travel millions of light years to hit your eye and depending on where you're focused you don't see obviously a bunch of stars that all look exactly the same so I kind of want to keep that kind of glint the way that they kind of fade in and out as part of the crown. So now onto my favorite part, we're gonna start adding rhinestones. I like working from the inside out. I find that's the easiest way to work with rhinestones. So I'm starting with a teardrop, adding some large ones in the center and then surrounding it with tiny little baby ones. And then for the glimmers coming off of that teardrop shape, I have largest rhinestones right at the kind of bulb end and then I taper them off with smaller and smaller ones. And I'm keeping them semi-asymmetrical and I have a lot of different weights of rhinestones. This is basically following the rule of thirds, so you're going to want to have some large, some medium, and some smalls that's a lot more interesting to the eye than just having a bunch of mediums, a bunch of larges, or a bunch of smalls. You want to have a combination of all three. You can adhere these however you'd like. You do spirit gum if you want something a little more intense. I'm just using lash glue. And you can apply the lash glue to the rhinestone or you can apply it to the forehead and then apply the rhinestone on top. I like to apply the glue to the rhinestone and then apply to the forehead. I'm now creating the band. Again, using varied weights of rhinestones. I am concentrating the small and mediums mostly along the center and then I have the larger weighted rhinestones towards my hairline and towards the center of the crown and that finishes the crown off. So now we're gonna finish the face and I'm going to use the natural liner and line my lips skipping the cupid's bow because we already have that highlight on. Now I'm grabbing the white lace romance lid lingerie and I'm going to be applying this to the center of the lips just patting it on and then I'm taking the NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow in Frostbite and I'm applying this to my Cupid's bow as well as the center of my lips. And then for the last step, we're going to take the glitter primer with some silver glitter and we're going to start applying glitter freckles. Freckles come in lots of shapes and sizes. Naturally, they'd probably show up all over your face, but I'm keeping them to the tops of my cheeks and then along the bridge of my nose and varying the size and kind of the shapes of them by just lightly dabbing them on my face. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And now I need your help to make the NYX Face Awards top 20 and move forward in this competition. Please head over to NYXFaceAwards.com and vote. You can vote three times a day, per day, now until May 27th. There's also a link in the description. Make sure to share this video with your friends if you want to see me in the next top 20. And don't forget to hashtag Team Shores to show your support. Thank you so much for watching and taking the time to vote, and I will see you guys in my next video.